Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. Bonjour everyone, welcome back to Transfer Talk, your daily transfer news for Newcastle United. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. As this is getting a bit mental now, this surely cannot be real. I'm out and about as always. Fresh trim and that for the weekend. Looking forward to the Cambridge game. Fresh trim in general. It was dead, so I was with a hat every day. Anyways, £70 million. Pounds. Yes. This cannot be real life. <laughs> this just cannot be real life. £70 million pound bid from Newcastle United for Dusan Vlahovic. A lovely pronunciation, that. Sound like I'm trying to get a job and taken as a Serbian gangster. He's not a Serbian gangster. He's a Serbian striker. He's an absolute animal. Up top 16 goals in 20 games so far this season for La Viola. Italian as well, I've got it all. The pronunciations are on point today, right? Vlahovic, Vlahovic. You know what his name is. You should do by now. He's one of the most sought-after strikers in Europe, like I said, 16 goals and 20 games in Serie A so far this term. 21 years old, Serbian international. Now we've had uh, the old Serbians at the tomb before with Mitrovic. This time, we want Vlahovic. I mean, they'll probably take Mitrovic back at the minute, to be honest, with all our injuries. But let's just just settle down for a minute and really take this in, right? And this is coming from a very credible Italian journalist who works for BN Sport, CNN. Um, the fucking main newspaper, the Gallo de, Gala de la Sport, or whatever the fuck it is. Maybe the pronunciation's not on point anymore. It was a good run while it lasted. Right, anyways, very credible source from him. He's very much in the know in Italy and uh, got the links and the connections with the clubs and the players and whatnot. So he is saying that Newcastle United have bid £70 million for Dusan Vlahovic. Vlahovic, whatever. I'm just going to call him V for the rest of the video because I can't be honest to try and get that right or wrong every time. So yeah, 70 million for V. For V. What a striker he is and one of the like I said, one of the most prized assets in European football. I cannot see this happening. Surely not we don't get him. You know, obviously money talks and that, but goodness gracious me. There's no way this happens, man. Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Arsenal mainly. Arsenal I'm, I'm gonna be shit hot after him. Apparently he turned Arsenal down the other week, but Fiorentina want to sell, they want the money, they want to cash in. The player wants a new challenge already, wants to move abroad to one of the best leagues in the world, ser um, leave Serie A and come to the Premier League. Um, or, you know, Real Madrid in La Liga. So he probably will move in January. Will he move to the Magpies? Will he move to snowy Newcastle? Well, I cannot see it. I mean, I cannot see it. All the offers on the table for him, everyone wants him. Surely he's going to go play European football somewhere. But it all comes back to the money, baby. It all comes back to these players now, like Trippier, who people are seeing are coming for money and all that. They are there for the project as well. Just like at Man City, two, three, four years down the lane, you can be one of the ones who said you came when it all first popped off. And now look where. Now look where now. Who's laughing now? Right? So we get these players to the door. You can be the start of the new era. And it'll all pay off in a couple of years' time. We'll wait and see, though. But that's a huge rumour this morning. Lots of others are flying around. More strikers being linked to the likes of Anthony Martial on loan. But the one I want to focus on is Diego Carlos from Sevilla. The Brazilian centre-back. He's been linked. Talksport have said we've had a £25 million bid rejected for him. So I hope we'll go back in. Apparently the Sevilla are waiting for £40 million. He's an absolute beast. A tank at the back and still good with his feet. A quality, quality centre-back. That would be an unreal signing. So we'll see how... Things develop with him, and we've obviously got the Sean Longstaff and Lucas Dean things still happening as well. Sean Longstaff apparently having to bid for him separately, having to put a bid in separately for Sean Longstaff, nothing to do with the Lucas Dean thing. We're trying to get Lucas Dean separately now. It's all twists and turns, it's all twists and turns. Stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll be back with a trippy announcement video at some point today. That would be bloody lovely. He's been pictured leaving his hotel this morning hours ago. Now, God knows what's taking the hold up there, but. We'll wait and see. We'll see you again soon. Drop your comments below what you think. If a ridiculous link of a huge money offer of £70 million and your cast are putting out bids of that magnitude is absolutely mental, if it's true, from this journalist. We'll wait and see. Cheers for watching, everyone. Subscribe to my channel TV. See you in a bit.